There's one more thing before you guys leave, Mandy says. And she reaches into a drawer and she rolls it out and she pulls out this little rectangular device with a little, like, antenna on it. And she says, this is a walkie-talkie. Does it walk? And she hands it to, I guess, to Ant. Does it walk and talk? (laughs) Does it walk and or talk? No, it just talks. But look, 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 look. And she presses a button on it and you hear the static. And she holds up another one that she grabbed in her other hand. And she puts it to your ear. And she talks into the other one and she says, Hello? And you hear from the one that she gave you, you hear her voice. I can't believe you just fucking made me explain what a fucking walkie-talkie is. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> I was gonna say, don't we have, like, intercoms? He could have just said, oh, it's like the intercom, but mobile. Holy shit, because it's like the overseer intercom, has to talk to us. small, and in my hand. Yes, it's like yeah. an it, yes. It's like, it, it's like that. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah, she hands it to you, Aunt. And she says, I, I only have the two, but in case we need to talk when you guys are, you know, getting the capacitor... If there's anything that comes up, I might be able to help you from down here. That sounds nice. Uh, th- thank you. And then she she shows you she shows you what button to press and how to operate the thing and everything. And she says, "Thank, thank you so much." She flips through her uh, Vault seventy nine manual. I think I called it something like that in the last episode. She flips through it and she points to a map and she says, "This is the service and maintenance wing. It's you know it's a small wing of the vault, but um, the storage room is going to be in this wing." Uh, and you can see a map. The map has, you know, two wings. There's a west wing and an east wing. Uh, and then there's, like, a little smaller wing to the south on the south side. Uh, with, you know, just a few rooms in it. Uh, you know, they, probably for storage and maybe electricity and things like that. There's not much going on there. She says, the entrance to the maintenance wing is going to be in between the two wings down the hallway, downstairs over there. And she kind of leans out of the room and points. I don't really know what's going to happen down there. Because I've never managed to get in, but it could get dangerous. Oh, don't or, worry. And or it's... in trouble. Ah, uh, don't worry. My middle name is Dangerous. Papa Dangerous Scuff. That's what what's... my mama called me. Is Papa That's your first name? name? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, isn't that like a, isn't that normal? <laughs> I, I think that's what we call him, right? <laughs> so we established. I don't know if this is on last episode. We established that Papa Scuff isn't actually your name, isn't it? Uh, no. But at this point, like, it, it might as well be. Yeah, basically, nobody nobody knows my real name. <laughs> it, it's been lost throughout the years. Hmm. The only one who may have any like recollection of my name is the overseer. <laughs> <laughs> even then, it's probably not, not even not even your drug buddy. No, 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 especially not my drug buddy. You can't just go up to the dude who sells you jet and be like, "Yo, man, my name is James Johanna Jameson. Pleased to meet you." Nah, dude. You gotta have like a code name, otherwise they could track stuff. you down and beat have... up your track you down. Jet. Is, you, okay, so this vault is the equivalent of a small town. <laughs> Except you can't leave. I have two questions that are still very unanswered. In this small town of about 15 rooms? <laughs> uh, go ahead. Okay, one. Still, I don't know what will happen if the Overseer catches us. And two, does the Overseer hate ants? Um, so you get the impression if the Overseer caught you in the maintenance wing, you would get in trouble. I mean, you wouldn't be killed or anything, but you yeah. would get in trouble. You wouldn't get executed on the spot if that's what you're referring to. So this is a few years before we leave. You might camp. get, you know, like a couple days and, you know, basically the equivalent of juvie. Hashtag grounded. Basically, yeah, you'd be grounded, but like vault grounded. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the overseer, you haven't really spoken a lot to the overseer. Uh, you know, I mean, she she knows of you. But she doesn't really have much of an opinion of you. She well, just thinks you're kind of weird. that's about a change. <laughs> How attached would you say she is to her son? If, or no, is the overseer male or female? 
We are. We would get in huge trouble. We. I would immediately be like, I don't know this man, even though like everyone knows Papa Scuff. I'd be like, oops. Like, Papa Scuff. He's the Papa to everybody. Aunt Dad every- is long dead, except now she's been adopted by Papa Scuff. The Smiths who? It's only Papa Scuff in this. <laughs> in the this Smiths vault. who? The Smiths? Whomster? I'm talking about Papa Scuff. Everyone's daddy. To answer your question, it's her son. So... Well, I mean, like, if I had a son who was, like, addicted to drugs, I'd be like, Get out of here! Get the fuck out of my room! My room. My well, son yeah, and I dude. live in a room. <laughs> uh, have you seen a vault? It's like 15 rooms. I know, I know, I know. I'm joking. <laughs> I, I I figured you were talking, like, out of character. I'm sorry. No, no, no I'm joking. Uh, of course not. Yeah. Yeah, Get I mean... Get the fuck out of my room! I play Minecraft! She cares about her son. But... Okay, okay. Yeah, I would hope so. So she she looks at you and she asks, "Do you, do you have anything anything else to ask me? Just I mean, just you know, keep a hold of that walkie-talkie and you know, get in and out quickly." Here, and then I'm gonna hand her my huge like handful of my like my fistful of hair. Unless I already dumped it at the what? Smith's house, I don't remember. Did oh, because you did I already dump it at the Smith's house or at, or do I still have it? I don't remember. You so you were about to. Yeah, I'm gonna actually hand it to her. If I get in trouble, throw this at the Smiths for me. You're not gonna die. Or eat so- it. Consume it. It is yours. Make it become one of you. I don't with really you. feel just, com- just throw it I don't at them. Feel- I don't just like. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I want to. Look lust, like not lust, wistfully in the distance. I don't just think like- I want to throw it at them. They raised you. Do it. Do it for me. Um, no. <laughs> I'm gonna take my hair back then. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, okay, go ahead and roll speech. Uh, so oh, for speech checks, shit, uh, that is going to be a D100 and add your speech modifier. I should really make out a character sheet from Andy. How much is a D100? Uh, like twenty dollars for me. Well, just two D10. Well, it has a hundred sides. About fifteen bucks. Yeah, yeah but you for it. When I say D one hundred, I mean your percentile on your D ten. Well, no, I mean, yeah, I know that, but like, I want an actual D one hundred for. I mean, that would be fucking like, lit, dude. But yeah. Dude, yeah, it's just a glorified golf ball. <laughs> yeah, it's just like how I have a D one. Useless. What you have a D one? I yes, I have a one sided die. Wait, I don't remember this thing. I think I showed it. I thought I took a picture and sent you it. Us our, you showed me your one-sided die. I don't remember seeing it. What's the fucking point of a one-sided dice? It's That's cool. Fine. I think it's I cool. I mean, sure, it's I'm not gonna, cool. Yep, it's for the meme. If I ever say, okay, let me roll my one-sided die, like, <laughs> you know, that tells me, oh, yeah, I don't even know what's right, happening. Right. It's like one of those ways to, like, sarcastically communicate something that I find really funny. Like, if you say something really dumb, I'm like, okay, let me roll my one-sided die to see if that happens. It doesn't I happen. I should get a dice. I should get a dice that has its numbers in Braille. <laughs> okay. Asshole. Uh, it looks like it is a 35 plus 48. Big so number. 80, it's about 83. About 80. Yeah. So she's actually convinced, or at least she... she so... <laughs> She'll you do give it her the hair. If I get caught, do oh. it for me if I get caught. Okay, I will. And then she like looks at herself like, did I just did I just say that? <laughs> did I agree to throw hair? <laughs> did I just agree to throw hair at some innocent people? Well, I don't know if they're innocent. Innocent? People. I think the Smiths Inno- are far from that. Mm mm mm. Bada boom, bada boom, baby. Thanks for your commentary, James. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for your great commentary. Excellent commentary. Okay, are you guys leaving her room or what? Yes. Uh, yes. On my way to steal some... Was it capacitors? A capacitor? Capa- uh, a capacitor, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On my way to steal some electronical parts. 
starts. I'm gonna, like, talk to Pop the Scuff and be like... Oh, sorry, how old is this person we're stealing stuff for? Um, about your age. I'd, I'd say about Oh, okay, age. good, good. Oh. Uh, and how old are you? Since this is a flashback, is... like... 16? Oh... Okay, then it's safe to assume that a 16-year-old does not have Jet and or Psycho and or any other chems. Probably not. I don't know. Maybe? Okay, whatever. Let's continue. Sorry, let's continue. Okay, this this girl is in love with Vault Papa Boy. Scuff okay. is only motivated, only motivated by chems and a funny gun. That's yeah. all it's motivated by. Is that is that correct to assume? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants his revolver. You're not motivated by boredom or anything? Uh, he, he he wants his uh, what was the fucking quote that we were gonna have engraved on it? <laughs> the live laugh love was that it? Yeah yeah live laugh love. <laughs> <laughs> but like but like in in like that weird like font with like the the hearts and stuff. Oh my god! With like <laughs> yeah. the, the like heart cursive. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah 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 and like the O is like a heart, and the V is like a heart, but uh, yeah they're both hearts. <laughs> Lou. 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 Uh, the L is a sideways heart. <laughs> uh, the I is dotted with a heart. I mean, obviously. So you guys are heading down the hallway. Uh, you guys, you know, you see some people walking around. Some people wave at you. You know, some people you know, kids your age. Uh, you walk down a couple flights of stairs and you get to the lower floor. Uh, sort of toward the middle area of the vault there's so like i said earlier there are two wings the west wing and the east wing and there's like a central are we not allowed in the west wing <laughs> you, so you guys were in the east wing i believe i said oh, so... uh i knew someone was gonna make a west wing joke just I... for me calling it that and i knew it was unavoidable east egg so i've come i've come to terms with it but there, like i said there's a west wing there's an east wing uh and there's a central area you know like you know, like little yeah. parks and stuff. Like the ceiling is sort of painted to look like the sky. Uh, the ground, the floors. It has astroturf. Yeah, yeah, it has astroturf. Um, oh man! And then <clears throat> there's like a little park area. There's like a gazebo, like a. And I say gazebo. It's like tiny. You could probably fit two or three people in there. Uh, there's some people hanging out, and then there's you know there's a smaller room off to the side. Uh, you know, with some general, like, you know, playing supplies in it. And then there is a door that heads into the service and maintenance wing. And I'm going to actually have you guys roll a perception check. Now, I believe that's a D100 check. I guess it would be a save. That makes the most sense to me. So let's okay. have it be a save. Okay, okay. So 62. Wait. Not 6. Not sixty-two. It would be, it would be seventy-two. Seventy-two. Fifty-seven plus fifteen. Okay. Um, Jimmy. Twenty-eight. Okay, so Papa Scuff, you go. You know, you see the door to the service and maintenance wing. You go right on ahead and you try to open it, but Aunt, you see when he tries to open it it kind of stops the handle stops turning and the red light beeps on a little panel off to the side and it's like beep beep uh and you see a little panel above that that says present card papa scuff papa scuff do you have a card ah, i got this guys i'm gonna whip out my magic the gathering i'm gonna whip, whip out my magic the gathering uh dci wizards of the coast dci uh number card um and i'm going uh, so you to... don't you don't have that <laughs> you don't start with that. You have to collect that. Uh, okay, okay. In that case, I'm gonna scream. Just kidding. No, no, no. I'm. Let I'll, I'll let you have a Magic the Gadget, a Gathering card. I'll let you have or like follow. Magic equivalent. the Gathering or the the Wizards of the Coast DCI number. What would be the Fallout equivalent of Magic the Gathering? Sorcery um, the Partaking. <laughs> Sorcery the Partaking. Is that what you said? Yeah. All right, yeah. So you have a sorcery the partaking card with you, uh, ICD. <laughs> ICD. My, my uh. Coastal wizards. <laughs> my, 
my my coastal magic user uh, uh so- sorcerer is the partaking <laughs> icd number sorcerer the partaking okay okay yeah magic user icd number Sweet. whatever i'm going to wave it in front of the the keypad or the you know the 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 presentable card present a card thing. i'm going to wave it <laughs> so in you present of- your sorcery the partaking card to the key card scanner and it says card rejected unknown card presented i didn't realize this had a had a uh oh, what the fuck an rfid chip in it do we need an id card or so uh papa scup do you know how to steal an id card mm. well if it's anything like chems i might be able to what's chems uh, like it well they, they're small uh, usually in like a, th- you know those things for the people who can't really breathe well? Uh, occasionally the medical officer will pass them out to him. <laughs> Inhalers? <laughs> yeah, 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 like that, yeah, like that. <laughs> so, you know, if they're around that size, I'm pretty sure I could, uh, I could grab one off of, a uh, an unsuspecting, uh, security member. I think they might be a little smaller. Hmm, well, I mean, we won't know unless we try. All right. I'm Mandy, uh, away from here, so the- Wait, you hear oh, the okay. you hear the walkie-talkie click on, and she just says, "Uh, is everything going okay? Have you guys got past the door?" No, we need a card. I almost forgot to uh, notify you. <laughs> no, we need a card. Over. We forgot that, and Why, forgot what? the most important thing. Why do I need to say over? You don't even have to Kirk. I'm right beside Technically, you. Technically, you did say over at the end of that, so it counts. Over. What? Why? <laughs> Just signify that the message is over. Now you need to finish your message with over. Over. Anyway, we need a key card. Anyway, there you go. That's, that's the message. I'm not I'm sorry, saying over. The signal cut out. Over. No. No. We... <laughs> We we need a key, we need a key card or something. End. <laughs> oh, a key card? Why didn't you say so? Over. I did say so. Well, the signal cut out. Over. <laughs> I'm gonna hand you over to Papa Scuff and Buster in now. See, the All signal right. cut out is a uh, game talk for Discord cut out. Isn't that fun? <laughs> is it That's really? Fun. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> Uh, yeah, see, we, we need ourselves a little key card uh, in order to access the door here. Oh, Over. Are you a sheriff now? Like, yeah, uh, we need a key card to I'm big and buff. Over. <laughs> <laughs> that That's Papa Scuff. I thought you were a drug addict. That, that's, why he got, that's why he got the name Papa. <laughs> no, well, he's um, supposed to be, like, really gruff, though, isn't he? Yeah, and I... You should I, do, I, like, I, a southern ask accent and have it be, like, really gross. Um, maybe we should postpone this for, like, three years, and I'll just do, like, five packs of cigarettes a day, and then we'll, <laughs> by the time we uh, get there, I'll have the perfect voice. Smart, smart, that'll work. You'll have a great robot voice, too, with the thing. Or you could just, like, d- do it and then have it sound like... No, 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 I, I, got, I gotta smoke enough, so my voice is almost completely fucked, almost to the point of which I need one of those weird, uh, throat... throat things? Things, yeah, yeah, yeah but, but not quite the there. Smoker. That does not mean that I was dying. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, I so got lung cancer. how do we get the key card? Yeah, we need a key card. Uh, any idea where to get one? Over. Well, oh, God, I can't think of a way to get one without stealing one. Over. I forgot to say over. Over. <laughs> well, no shit, Sherlock. Like, do you know who might have one? Over. Actually, uh, I might. And you turn around, and behind you. Oh, I, oh, I thought, I thought, I thought she said that, like on the fucking walkie talkie. <laughs> behind you, uh, you see a fairly young-looking guy. He has like, you know, medium-length curly brown hair. Uh, please. <laughs> it's your Papa Scuff. This is your friend Howard Todd. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful yes! smile. Ah, uh, <laughs> well, if it isn't my good, o- well, if isn't it my old pal Ryu? How the hell have you been? We 
talked yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. You're acting very excited to see me. You had a key card there, my brother. Uh, may I have it, please? I'm not going to give it to you, but I think I can hook I'm you gonna up. I'm going to steal it. Sorry. Hey, let me, no. let me rephrase that question, brother. Okay. Uh, I'm going to whip out my knife. This is your may friend. I, please. This is your I'm friend. Joking. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, wait, where's the steal one? Where's the steal button? Uh, I really wish that you wouldn't, but I don't want to, like, stop you. Is it uh, that is would it be sneak? sneak. That would be sneak. Go ahead and roll sneak, and he'll All right, roll 82. a perception save. Jesus Christ. Okay. Once again, two stats overloaded. The rest are just empty. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, Howard. So that it... <laughs> Oh my god. So he got a hundred and thirty. shit! Does he just see my hand from a mile away and just slap it? Like, no! What are you- what are you doing? You're- you're trying to steal from a god. <laughs> he smacks your hand out of the way and he says, No, listen, I'm gonna let you in, but like, I still need this. So he walks past you, over to the key card, presents it, and the screen beeps green, and it says, Key card accepted. And he smiles oh. and opens the door. What exactly do you need to get in there for, anyway? Uh, we're just... Uh... Shit, I couldn't... I didn't... I don't know a lie! I'm just gonna look over at Papa Scuff, like, you, you know... Uh, yeah, yeah, see, we had rumor that they had some chems in here, and I had a little big hanker, and so my friend's like, Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll help you out, get some of them chems. Uh, so, you I know, know you here we are. like, oh, no, I'm involved with chems. Go ahead and roll speech. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> It's that one, and this one. Uh, 38 plus... 46. So... About 80... Like, 80-something, 90-something. 84. <laughs> 84. Well, would you look at that? He got 130. <laughs> oh. Well, Isn't your that... friend a little too young to be doing camp? Aren't you a little young to be like... <laughs> no, he says, Oh, come on. You don't need to tell me, sweet little lies. Alright, boy. Uh, I try... You know, we've been friends for a long time. You even you even uh, got me onto that hip new hollow tape uh, that everybody's been talking about. So, for because of that, I'm... Uh, here, I'll tell you, Okay. Uh, we're looking for a weird little doohickey, uh, for a thing that we need, I don't remember, uh, these chems have fucked my brain up. <laughs> uh, all I know is that it's in here, we need it, and we're gonna give it to a friend of ours, but that's, that, you know, that's all we, that's all I know. <laughs> I, I remember what it is, but, uh... You see, my, my friend will tell you. I don't know. Uh, he, like, he, like, like, leans against the wall nonchalantly. I, just... I'm gonna look at Papa's Scuff, like, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to tell him. No, no, tr tr dude, 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 trust me. I know, I've known this man for how, how many years have I been, Todd? Like, a lot. So, trust a me, lot. he's real trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we're looking for, like, I think, I think it was called, like, uh, like, uh, it, it's like a big battery, and we're gonna use it for... And, we're, and we have like a bunch of them apparently down here and we're gonna use it to beat up the overseer's kid <laughs> oh he laughs, laughs. <laughs> oh shit Isaiah? yeah that's the one yeah he has like a weird skeleton he has like a skeletal enhancer and we're gonna turn it oh shit oh <laughs> oh good fucking luck <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you well, you know, so... I bet that kid got it from his dad. Or he least... is a dad. Uh. Yeah, well, we're gonna teach him to not bully other people. Because that makes him an asshole. And we don't have room <laughs> for assholes around here. We don't have room for anyone, technically. Uh, shut up, I'm trying to make a point. That is a noble, that is a noble pursuit. I understand that. Now, you might want to be quiet going in there. I don't know who's in there. You don't want to get in trouble. I it's understand. Okay. I've gotten in trouble for worse. I've been hashtag vault grounded before. <laughs> you haven't been like vault arrested before, but you've been like grounded and shit. 
The Smiths decided I got <laughs> and had a rebellious phase. <laughs> Tried cutting her hair into a mohawk. Got I feel like your her. life is a rebellious phase, but that's it just is. me. It <laughs> is, but <laughs> for sure the Smiths were probably like, this is too far, you're hashtag grounded, and like, go to your bed. I don't bed think they said hashtag, like... but they probably did say you're grounded. <laughs> go, go to your bed, and she's like, <laughs> Go to your darn room. Yeah, so he lets you in. Oh, yay, th thank you. Uh, I'm gonna initiate sneak. Uh, yep, that will be, I believe, still a D100. Sneak. Yeah, yeah, there's a sneak. There's a sneak thingy. I'm gonna do that. That's cocked. That's here somewhere. Everything's here right. somewhere. That's a. Oh, that is Jesus Christ. Uh, I got a big number, as they say. Um, it is a 97 plus that good old mm -mm, 26. I got one, two, three. <laughs> I got I got a sweet ass uh by sweet ass I mean okay ass sixty one. Six what? I got a sixty one, which is a twenty one plus forty. Okay, and you said you got a three, Jimmy. I said I got a one two three, one hundred and twenty three. Oh, a hundred and twenty three. So you're good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stuff's sneaky, man. One Dude, two I, three. I, I... Okay, do you guys want to know my my stats? Because I don't think I told you guys this. I mean, I would know your stats, I think, vaguely. I, I don't I think know. I've showed you my stats. Maybe you didn't. Yeah, I guess okay. you didn't. Okay, just a quick quick rundown of the, of the big numbers of all the things. I got a 7, 6, 4, 10, 1 in my intelligence, uh, 10, and then a 6. <laughs> so th that's where I stand. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you enter the service and maintenance wing. It's smaller than the other two. It's the smallest wing. So basically, past the door, it's just this long, pretty much straight hallway. I think it turns at the end, turns left. There are a few doors lining each side with, like, little signs. And there's some flickering lights on the ceilings. You notice that this wing is, compared to the other two wings, that, you know, which are much more, like decorated and nice looking to, you know, to an extent they have like stripes and stuff on them this one looks mostly just metallic like how would you how you would expect you know like a, a warehouse to look kind of except it's a hallway and not a warehouse so it's like a different okay. thing and i'm describing a different setting than a warehouse but anyway point is you see like pipes and shit in the ceiling that was and some rooms Wow, maybe I should start getting into inventing stuff, too. Anyway, time to fucking steal some shit. Mandy comes in on the walkie-talkie. She says, Kirk, So did you get past the door? Over. Kirk. Uh, Kirk. yeah, Mandy, we are all in here. Over. Kirk. Howard Todd Kirk. helped us in. And... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. She'll. <laughs> <laughs> Over. Over. And. Okay, so I've been looking at the map. I think the storage room will be on the left side of the hallway. Over. Okay, I'm gonna go look for the storage room. All right. So you guys sneak down the hallway. You are investigating the left side of the room, of the hallway, rather. You're checking out each sign. You know, you see things like uh, food, uh, electricity, repair. And then you see a sign that says... Parts and service. Let's see. Capacitors here. <laughs> Capacitors here. It says exactly what you're looking for in this great in this great location, and it's like a neon sign with like arrows flashing indirectly into yeah. it, and it's like, and then it says in parentheses, definitely not a trap planted by Isaiah Thomas. Oh, totally walking right in. <laughs> no, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It says storage. It, it looks like it said a word before storage, but that's kind of rubbed off, just you know, either from age or maybe someone rubbed it off. Okay. Go ahead and everybody roll a perception save. All both of you. Okay. Uh, I got a 100. I got an 84. From inside of the storage room, 
you hear a, a rather deep male voice, and it says, well, he says, Hey, Wendell, I got a question for you. And another voice speaks back and says, What's up? So, one of those skeletal enhancers went missing. I came in here to look for it. I can't find it. Do you have any idea where it might be? And the other voice, presumably Wendell, says, Ah, skeletal enhancer. God, wouldn't those be in bulk? And I looked in bulk, but man, they weren't in there. Oh, God, I don't know if I can really help you there. Did you talk to the overseer about it? Well, who do you think fucking told me about it, Wendell? And he kind of laughs. Uh, and you hear the other guy say, Ow! Don't do that. You know, it kind of reminds me of that, of Leighton Todd's key card that went missing. Remember that? God, wasn't that like three years ago? Uh, uh, I'm going to pull Ant back what? a bit, and I'm going to uh, talk to Ant. I was going uh, hey, to make like a deep voice and be like, I don't worry, what? <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Ant. Uh, I have an idea, okay? So here's my idea. We now know where they contain the skeletal enhancement. No, okay? I no. How about we, sh- we no, no. Uh, equip three of them? Okay, put three of them on our cell, on our bot, on our person, and we go and show Ezekiel or whatever the fuck his name is uh, how to not be a cunt. Okay, how about <laughs> I have a better idea? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna deepen my voice. <laughs> As best as I can, get rid of that wispiness, and then. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, hold up! I'm, I'm like, go off to the side. Uh... I know where it is. I say you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you making fun of my accent? <laughs> Are you making fun of my accent? Okay, go. You realize this is Alaska. <laughs> Go ahead and roll speech. How's that? Uh... All right, let me let me check. All right, all right. That is that is a yeah. That is like a hundred and that's like a hundred and one. What is it? A hundred and one. <laughs> Holy shit! No, <laughs> Mason. <laughs> they got a hundred. Dude, holy shit. Oh my Jesus. Okay. (laughs) When do God speak? (laughs) What was that you said? Isaiah, the overseer's kid. He has it. Oh shit. You're telling them the truth. Anyway, I'm definitely gonna hide so they, you know, they don't just like burst out and be like, "Yo, thank you for telling us," but then just see the little well, ant. So I'm gonna definitely just hop to the side and hide. I guess I should go talk to the overseer about this, huh, Wendell? Uh, and Wendell says, "Yeah, Justin, you should go tell him." And you hear footsteps coming out of the storage room. He says, "Thank you. Uh, who are you again?" My name is Timothy. Your name is what? Timothy. Uh, roll speech. <laughs> uh, that is... So that is a... Uh, seven... That is an 80. So he got a 50. It says, Timothy. Oh, aren't you the electrician? Uh-huh. I sure am. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna fall apart at any moment. Uh, okay. Yeah, he believes you. Uh, so you're hiding, right? Are you hiding behind yeah. like a box or something that's in the hallway? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll sneak, I guess. Both oh, of you would have to do it. My best stat. Actually, not my best stat. Apparently, speeches. Well, so an 88 plus 40. So, a two, so 128. I uh, got a 52. Uh-oh. Okay, so he walks out of the room. You recognize him as Mandy's father. Ooh. And now I don't know if he would recognize you, Papa Scuff. Doesn't everybody know Papa Scuff? <laughs> did he roll above mine? That's a joke. He did not. No. Okay. You beat his roll, so you're you're hidden. Papa Scuff, you're out in the open. You don't 
you know, you don't recognize the situation fast enough. You're just standing there in the doorway, basically. And he sees you and he says, where'd Tim go? Huh? Who are you? Oh, I think you went, I think you went there. Oh, see, I'm Papa Skeff. My, uh, you know, yeah, I'm Papa Skeff. <laughs> 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 Not even gonna bother lying. Uh, see, I, I kind of got—I had to go to the bathroom, but somebody was using it, and I got lost, and the door was open, so I thought I'd mosey down over here. It's like one of those grocery stores where one of the bath—the only bathroom is like the in the employee-only area. <laughs> you have to like yeah. oh, go to the back into the warehouse and like find the bathroom, and you're like, I swear, I'm just going to piss. Yeah. <laughs> there. <laughs> God. How'd you get in here? Uh, the, the door was open. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's technically true, because someone did leave the door open for you, and that someone was Howard Todd. Is he saying No, that? no, 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 that's not, that's not in the spirit. Let's, let's go ahead and roll speech, huh? Do I say, is he the one saying that? No, that was me out of character. Technically, it's true. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh, that's a... Hold on, hold on. That is that number plus... Uh, that number, because I'm bad at math. Why are you doing this in character? Uh, plus 46. Boom. Uh, I got a 139. Yeah, you, you beat him. Okay. Barely. He... So, God, so you said someone left the door open, right? Yeah, yeah, somebody left the door open. Oh, God, I wonder if someone jammed something by the door again, and he runs off to go check, and he doesn't see you on the way out, Ant. That's one of the two who has left. You know Wendell is still in there. When Mr. Uh, when Mr. Dad is all the way out of the picture. H his name I'm is Justin go... Carey. Okay, Justin Carey. Uh, I'm just going to call him Mr. Carey because I am not a heathen yeah, who that calls their friend's parents by the first name. <laughs> I'm going to be like, uh, I'm going to get on my Timothy voice again. Wendell. Wendell, come out here! I need your help. Go ahead, real speech. How come everybody's fucking my copying my accent? Ooh. Oh, you beat him no matter what, pretty much. Oh, really? Well, what, what'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, you biffed, didn't you? Uh, sixty-eight. God, I can't roll. <laughs> yeah, you beat him. And he says, "Oh, what do you need, Tim?" The door. The door over there is jammed. I I need you to go check it out. What? <laughs> well, it was jammed Wait. open. <laughs> Aren't you the technician? It's it's jammed open. You need to go check it out. And you need out. Well, you need to go check it out. Someone could get in. All right, I guess I'll go help you out. And he, I'm I'm already heading there. Just go meet me there. All right. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll speech one last time. Ninety-one plus forty-eight, so that is one hundred and thirty-nine. So he got a hundred and two. He says, "All right, I'll head out there in a second. I just have to finish up what I'm doing here real quick." And you hear some shuffling about for a minute or so, and he sets stuff down with like a huge jangle. And this gives you enough time, both of you, to hide. Uh, and he heads out toward the door. Kind of sneaky on in. Mm -hmm. Do I have to roll sneak, or do I just walk on in, grab the things, shove it in my pa shove it in my pocket? Uh, no, they were the only two who were there. So you guys see a large warehouse-like room. There are, like, shelves and shelves of stuff. Uh, there's a couple doors on either side. There's one on the left, one on the right. It seems to lead off into a couple side rooms. In here, you see, I mean, like I said, there's a bunch of shelves with, like, boxes of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna get telepop Uh, lots of tools in here, too. I'm gonna search for chems. Yeah, I was about to say, like, Papa Scuff, can you go find it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna message, I'm gonna send, you know, the talkie-walkie. Hmm, sure. I give the I give the walkie-talkie to Ant, and I go searching for chems. <laughs> so, so what are you looking for? Chems. I figured. Okay, Ant, you're gonna walkie-talkie, Mandy. So, Matt. Okay, Mandy. I got. I keep forgetting your name. I keep wanting to call her Marcy, but that's not right. Okay, I'm gonna. Mandy, we almost had to run. We almost got caught. Uh, almost by your dad. Anyway, we're in the we're in the storage room. Uh, where the fuck do we find this? Over. Okay, I wasn't sure. I mean, and... <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Over. I, I used the wrong ending thing. End. 
<laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Do you know where my dad went? Over. Yeah, he went over to the, okay, to the so door. <laughs> we, we told him that oh, we sorry, left sorry. it open. You said over. I wasn't... Okay, I'm sorry. Over. He went to the door that... We made a lie that it was left open. But it wasn't... Anyway... Uh, we only got so long before him and Wendell come back, and the last thing we want is to get caught because they think I am a man named Timothy now. And so, how are your parents? Over. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Shit, I forgot. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Over. My parents are dead. <laughs> and. <laughs> I keep referencing- I'm specifically referencing that one Spider-Man Homecoming <laughs> blooper. I hope you guys realize just that. It's like, wow, you're so lucky to have your parents throw parties like this. My parents are dead. <laughs> it's like how in the Harry Potter musical, uh, the very Potter musical, Harry Potter just keeps <laughs> referencing his dead dad, like, over and over, and it's really funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm basically just referencing over. that one blooper. Wait, no. <laughs> okay, capacitors should be in the bulk storage, but they're, they're easily as likely to be in the main storage. Over. Thank you. And... Anyway, I'm gonna go look Do at Do I the... find any chems? No, Jimmy, you don't find any chems. Oh, well, they, they, this is a bust. But, um, Howard Todd, <laughs> Howard Todd is suddenly next to you and he looks at you and he says, Oh, hey. I don't know you were oh, coming hey. here, too. Can you help us find the capacitor? I don't know what a capacitor is. Uh, I have two que- I have I have two questions for you, real quick, Max. Uh, is 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 uh, Howard Todd the mysterious stranger? And two, is he a part of the vault? <laughs> is he? I mean, yeah, he's a he's he's a citizen of the vault. Yes. Without okay. him, the vault would crumble. He's like he's like the train guy from the Polar Express. <laughs> he's the original overseer. <laughs> Curse to serve beyond the grave. No, he's like he's like Calcifer from House Moving Castle. If he is removed from the no. vault, the vault will crumble. <laughs> no, he's just a sneaky druggy boy. Uh, okay. And he, no, he's rifling through some of the stuff in bulk storage, and he grabs something that looks like sort of like a syringe, and he says, "Oh hell yeah, here it is." And he pockets it, and he says, "You said you guys were looking for some capacitors, right?" Yeah. Fuck, I said capacitors. Capacitors. I, I said I was looking for cams. Well, I'm looking for a capacitor, and I want to get out quickly before we get caught. I'm going to look over at Papa Scuff like, I don't want to get okay. caught by my friend's okay. dad. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Just listen really, just listen to me. Just listen to me very closely. I am your fucking supplier. You hear that? Mm-hmm. Don't, don't worry about anything. I got you covered. I know how to make them. And he pulls out, he pulls out the syringe. I know how to make these. Don't worry about it. Uh, I know a dude Capacitors. who's addicted to a dictol. <laughs> I don't. That's not how that. Well, did he use a dictol to get unaddicted? Uh, I don't know. He's just addicted. Are you telling me? Are you telling me that ta- that Howard Todd like called his his chems capacitors? No, that I, I misspoke. For a second, I was about to be like, "Bitch, we are looking for a battery, not fucking." Well, Papa Scuff's looking for drug. But anyway, uh, so I'll tell you what. I think. They're up there, and he po- he points to a shelf at the very, very top. Time to uh, climb. Like a box at the very top. There's like, you know, f- ten shelves between you. The ceiling's like, I don't know, maybe 20 feet up. Thank you. I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to go, because unlike you, Papa Scuff, I don't want to be vault grounded and regular grounded. And anyway, I'm going to climb up that shelf to grab that box. Or at least shove my hand in that box. <laughs> oh, I too love shoving hand into boxes I can't see. You're going to have to climb up. Yeah. Basically, it's like, it it could be the top of a second story if they had decided to put one here. Could it be sneak or just agility? It would be... Ooh, that's a good question. I think that would be maybe agility save. Okay. I, I, I would think so. Let's go for agility save. All right, that is 69A plus uh, 25. So that would be 994. Yeah. So you're able to climb up the shelf, 
uh, you know, you reach your hands. It's you know how like the you know like the Costco shelves they're like made of metal mm-hmm. bars and they have the, like these constant like weirdly shaped holes in them like in a pattern. Yeah, it has that, and they hurt like hell when you dig your hands into them. But you climb up, uh, the shelf like wobbles back and forth with your weight, so you like shift your weight forward just to keep balance. And you're able to using that process and ignoring the cutting into your hands a little bit, uh, you're able to reach the top shelf. And grab a fistful of capacitors out of the cardboard box. Okay, we only need one, right? Um, I think she said you needed one. Yeah, she said you needed one, but it can't... Okay, so I'm gonna put all but one back. Yeah, just get one. So I'm gonna grab one, I'm gonna shove it into my puck. You know, I'm gonna be sneakier than that. I'm gonna shove... Okay, how big is it? Can I shove it into my boot? Like, could I lift my little vault Let pants me... up? Let me actually fucking check. I don't think capacitors are very big. Like, can I lift up my vault, like, my vault pants, stick it in there, and then tuck them back in so, like, I make a mini pocket in my pants that will be... They're tiny. They're tiny. You could put it, yeah, you could put it in your shoe easily. I'm gonna shove it in my boot, make sure it's not near my feet so I could crush it, just, you know, in the side. Like, shove it in my pants, like, in between my pants and my leg and my boot. Maybe you, like, like, tuck it in, like, the little tongue of your shoes. Yeah. Yeah, something like that, and then I'll just, like, and then I'll just, like, climb back down and then get ready to fucking... Bolt out of here! And then I- oh shit, I just realized I directed our two main what? people looking, like, at the door that we need to leave. I'm gonna tell Papa Scuff this. Alright, I got the capacitor, but I just realized the two people that will get us in huge trouble if they spot us are currently at the door, which I think is our only exit. Okay, I got a question. Uh, for, like, from where we are to the door, would there, is there a corner, or is it, like, a straight shot? You entered from the hallway into the main storage room. Uh, the entrance from the hallway was on the left side of the hallway. You went through the room, and then you went through another door on the left side into a secondary, smaller, bulk storage room. Hmm. So, there would be, uh, probably two corners between you and the hallway. Okay. But after you got into the hallway, it would be a straight shot. Okay. Ant, uh, I have an idea. Okay. How about you go hide off kind of kind of over there where you, where you can't be seen, uh, you know, cl- close to the door. Obviously not where they can see you, of course. You don't want to be seen. But yeah, if you hide over there, uh, I will avert their attention to me, and then you just mosey on past them. Oh, thank, thank you, Papa Scuff. All right. So uh, I'd go hide, like, right now. Okay, going to go sneak. <laughs> okay. Sneaky time. Who's in there? Oh, it's shit. Okay, that is a, uh, 63. Yep, so you hear a voice say, who's in there? I'm hiding. (laughs) I'm scared. Um, okay. Uh, Uh, and go ahead and roll perception, I think. Me, or who? Both of you. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh... So the dice that has the double digits, when it uh, beckons to a zero zero, that means uh, your percentile die. If it rolls two zeros, that either means zero or a hundred, depending on what the other die rolls. So if you okay. roll both, if both die roll zero, that's a hundred. If if your D ten rolls anything other than zero, then it's just like one through. I got the D one hundred percentile dice equivalent to a nat one. Are you telling me you actually got a one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I on the other hand lucked out and I got a uh, one hundred and ten. I mean, I, I, if you, if you add my what well, what was it? What was I doing? Perception. Yeah. I, I guess technically I got a nineteen, but yeah, I basically rolled this. I, I rolled a one. So so, what did you roll, Ant? Uh, I rolled a ninety-five plus fifteen, so one hundred and ten. Okay, so you are hidden, uh, up at the top shelf. Should I really be at the top shelf? That's where it is. That's where the capacitors were. I I think this would make the most sense. I thought I climbed down though. Did you say you climbed down? Yeah, I did. Okay, then let's say you're in the process of climbing down, uh, but you're not low enough for this person to see you. Uh, and actually, I had you guys roll perception, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't stealth. You see, standing in the hallway, a member of Vault Security. Oh no! Oh no! Does he does he see us? Oh no! Papa Scuff's plan won't work. Does he does he see me? Absolutely. He sees you for sure. 
Oh are... no, this no, ain't a no. bathroom. Fight, 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 This fight, is fight. a storage. I'm gonna fall to my knees and pretend to cry. And pretend to what? <laughs> pretend to cry. <laughs> pretend to cry. Get up. God damn it, get up. What the fuck are you doing up there? And, <laughs> and he turns to look at you, Ant. Oh no, he saw- Did he roll that high? Hmm? Oh no, he rolled that high? I didn't have you roll stealth, I forgot. I was having you roll perception. Oh no, I did roll stealth. It was like 60-something. Wait, when did you roll stealth? I'm sorry. Oh, oh, before the perception. I you I rolled stealth before perception. I guess I shouldn't Okay. Uh, I okay. rolled like only 60-something. Yeah, he saw you. Yeah, he, oh, cause no. he rolled a 66, and you rolled a 63. I remember now. Okay. What the hell are you doing up there? And he- you know, he picks up his- he doesn't want to use his gun, but he has a stunner. Isn't, like, vault security, like, equipped with a baton? <laughs> Are you gonna just slap Ant like a piñata? <laughs> uh, no, I'm talking, like, like, a metal baton. Like, you know those things that, that police have, I think? I actually don't know. I'm not a police officer. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. It's a baton. Alright. <laughs> And he, he, like, holds it up like he's gonna fucking throw it at you. <laughs> but, okay, but, like, yeah, like, Ant is kind of, like, scrunching a little bit, like, like, still, like, a little frozen between climbing down. And she's like, just climbing. You hear the walkie-talkie come in and she says, What's going on? I haven't heard from you guys in a while. Over. I'm gonna, like, click the walkie-talkie and be like, not now! And he he walks up to you and he tries to snatch it from you. Go ahead and roll an agility save. Not now. Alright, that is a 47 plus 25. 72. He snatches it from your hand. No! And he purses the button he says, Who was on the other side of this walkie-talkie? Over. Nobody! That was a joke. No, yeah. And you don't hear a response. Just, God damn it. What the hell are you doing in here? Just climbing. And he, he pockets the walkie-talkie. I had to go to the bathroom, but I couldn't find it. Both of you roll speech. How's that, huh? I would not. Like, I would be surprised if he accepted <laughs> just climbing. Oh, boy. It's just 30. Uh, speech is a thing that's right there. So, sir, okay, so. 129. 81. Let's see. So that would be 113. So he believes you, Papa Scuff. Oh no, he doesn't <sighs> believe just climbing. But he doesn't believe you, Ant. I doubt that you're fucking just climbing. Get the fuck down from there. Okay, I'm gonna climb I'll... down. Because get out of here! He he look he looks at you, Papa Scuff. He says, "Get the fuck out!" I book it. I fucking book it. But okay, sorry, sorry. Let me. Okay, I don't book it. I I leave and then I go around a corner and I scream as loud as I can. Ah, help me! <laughs> um, that'll <laughs> work. That'll work. Uh, let's. I think that would be an instant that one. <laughs> That's an instant that one. I think on roll, whatever. Roll your roll, roll your D one. <laughs> Roll your D1. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna roll a D1 to see what you get. Uh, oh, it didn't even land on the one side. It landed on the edge, huh? Oh, nice. One. Or is that an 11? Because it has one on both halves of the side, the same side. No. Um, are you seriously gonna do that? Yeah, yeah. I, I walk, like, five feet away, like, from the door, and I scream as loud as I can. Oh, God, somebody help me. I'm just gonna face fall with that one. <laughs> I don't know what you and your friend are doing in here. But you better get the fuck out. Okay, you're okay, just, yeah. look, you're, you, look, you're just kids. You're probably doing some dumb drugs or some shit. Just get out. <laughs> I stab right. myself in the arm. Oh no, he got away! No, I'm joking. <laughs> alright, alright, then. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, okay, thank you, sir. Won't do it again. I'm just gonna, like, speed walk out of there. Like, one, like, one super embarrassed I got caught. And two, really hoping that I don't get ground, like either vault grounded or Smith grounded, but also low key a uh, three. I got the capacitor. That's right, you did. Also, uh, emotion four. 
I am not doing the drug. And I'm sad that he thought I was doing the drug. I mean, that's what happens when you go sneaking around places. They assume the drug. Especially with Papa Scott, who's screaming <laughs> bloody murder in the neck door next in the room next door. Oh man, that's not gonna look. E that's gonna look even worse for the Smith's reputation. That's a perfect example of doing the drug. <laughs> that's it's gonna a make it's a side effect of comp of Campacitor. That that's gonna make the Smith's reputation look even worse. That their weird adopted, like the child under their wing, is now doing drug with Mister Papa Scuff. As, or Mr. Papa, as one may call it. Mr. Papa Scuff. <laughs> Mr. Papa. Mr. Scuff. <laughs> Mr. Scuff, is it? Please. Mr. Scuff was my father. Call me Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Please. Dr. Scuff was my father. <laughs> call me Pop. I mean, like, the equivalent of being like, call me Daddy. You know, Papa means potato in Spanish. Please. Dad was my father. Call me Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Call me daddy. <laughs> Call me daddy. 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 <laughs> Call me daddy. Da da. Yeah, I was supposed to make a reference to that fucking. Da da. Daddy. Da da. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna quickly like get my way, like gonna head my way back to Mandy. Mindy. I think her name was Minty. I'm gonna go back to my friend and get. Actually, ready. you. Oh no. You get down to the hallway, to the door. Well, you get out of the storage room, and there are two more members of Vault Security there. And actually, this happens to you too, uh, Papa Scuff. There are two more members of Vault Security there, there to escort you back to your rooms. Mm. Do I have a room, or am I like that dude who like like sleeps on the cafeteria floor? Escorted to the cafeteria. <laughs> I don't. You know, I feel like you had a room, but like you don't. You've never been there. But, like, technically you have a room? I, I live under a bridge. They escort you there, but you just go back to your cafeteria. <laughs> I, I live under a bridge, not because I'm poor, but because I choose to. <laughs> Almost by choice. God. Did you mean a snuffkin from Moomin? <laughs> it's really hard for someone to be homeless in the vault because, like, the whole place is literally built to be a home. <laughs> yeah. You, you just live in the fake park. The AstroTurf <laughs> is your bed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the nice thing about a vault is even outside is still room temperature. Yeah, just oof. Like, I'm just like, oof. Uh, zoinks. <laughs> they escort you back to the east wing. Uh, and then, you know, one of you lives upstairs. One of you lives downstairs. So you guys are separated. Uh, one of them takes each of you to your rooms. Papa Scuff, you are sort of in your kind of empty room. It's, you haven't seen it in, like... You know, ten years since you were born. Kind of left it. <laughs> it has piss on the. Fl it has a piss. It has a knocked over piss so, bucket and a sleeping mat. I don't know, <laughs> Papa Scuff. Did your parents also die or what? Uh, I am my parents. He, uh, they died, but not because of like possible complications, just to, due to old age. They died just literally because they didn't want you. <laughs> Pa no, uh, no. Papa, Scuff, Papa Scuff is a bastard child of two unknown vaulters, and no one knows whose parents are except his parents, and you know what? he will never yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a bastard uh, child. Let's say that. Howard Todd's my dad. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! I almost want to make that canon, but no. <laughs> Howard Todd's about your age, maybe a nah, little bit older. I, I, would, I, would, I would think my parents are I think Howard dead. Todd, at this, at this point, Howard Todd is like young 20s. Uh, my parents left me on the, uh, on the orphanage room. Orphanage room? What roof? No, room. Because, because, you know, there's no, there's no buildings. It's just one big building. So they left me on the front of the orphanage. Let's just say you have an empty room. You have an empty room. No one's there. <laughs> um, uh, you haven't been there in years. And they, they shut the door with you on there. And you hear the click of the, you, you hear, you hear something clicking on the outside. And he says... I guess we'll let him out in, like, a week. Make sure we get food and everything. A week! And you hear, you know, various, various murmuring. With Ant, they take you, well, he takes you to your, you know, you know, the Smiths. Uh, and you hear him talking to your parents, telling them about, well, your parents, the Smiths. In quote. Uh, he, you hear him telling them what happened. And he says, now you're daughter or whatever she is to you here is going to be staying in her room for the next week Oof, 
I can't, can I try to persuade my way down a little bit? Because a week's a long time. Go ahead and roll, go ahead and roll speech. Okay. Can I roll a barter to increase my oh. sentence? You're in a different room. No, I'm joking. Okay, that is a three plus four. Okay, that is a fifty-one. What are you? What are you gonna say? I'm gonna be like, a week's a really long time for a growing child such as myself, it, and it seems a little cruel for just climbing. Can, is there any way that that could be lowered a little bit? Look, I feel bad for you with your situation with your parents, but you're not supposed to be sneaking around the vault. My parents are dead. <laughs> she just immediately yes, starts Yes, I, I, I figure I discerned that. Well, my parents are dead too, but you don't see me complaining. <laughs> I'm trying That's to use it to my advantage. see you, you're in a different room. I'm trying to pull down my sentence, okay? A week is a long time to be vault grounded. Okay, so he leaves and the smiths chew you out put you in your room, they give you, you know, basic dinner, it's kind of shitty. You know, goo. Grey goo, we decided on this already. Mm -hmm, grey goo. That's what you guys eat. Grey paste. Food paste. Processing paste. Nutrition paste. Mm -mm -mm. The finest of the pastes. So you two are each, you know, stuck in your sleeping quarters with no communication with Mandy, but you have the capacitor. Do the doors have, like, windows in them? Uh, they have little circular, like, porthole windows. I think we're actually going to go ahead and end the session here. I like how we don't get out. Our fr our uh, acquaintance is going to get beat the fuck up by a power suit wielding fucking angry 12-year-old. Guys, we're going to just tomorrow, not a week. <laughs> okay, I need to... Uh, oh, crap. Okay, but I have one more thing to ask before... We leave? Uh, before we end. Would Papa Scup... Or ant, be the type to eat an entire pint of paint thinking it was gray goo. <laughs> they said Alaska was so cold. They said to live there you gotta be oh so bold. They never knew just what we had till it was gone. Alaska, where'd you go? Alaska, where'd you go? Alaska, where'd you go? Why'd you go away? Alaska, where'd you go? Alaska, where did you go? Alaska, where'd you go? Why'd you go away? Yeah. They said Alaska must be cold. They said to live there you must be oh so bold They never knew just what we had Till it was gone, all gone Hey everyone, this is your overseer Max. I just wanted to thank you for taking the time out of your day to listen to this episode of Fallout Survivors of the North, as well as the first episode, which was last week or two weeks ago or a month ago. We haven't... I'm recording this before we bothered figuring out the release schedule. Uh, if you follow us on Twitter, you know that we recorded and edited the first four episodes before we started putting episodes up, so, you know, there's that. But thank you for listening. Uh, we did this podcast out of the love of our... We did... Nope. Okay. See, my mouth flaps, and my brain just can't keep up with it. We do this podcast out of the love of our hearts. Uh, we do it for fun. You know, we don't expect anyone to listen to this, but if you do, we really hope you enjoy this episode and the whole podcast. Uh, we do have some pretty... Well, I have some pretty big plans for later on, so, you know, keep on board. I think I think it'll get pretty good. If you want to help support the podcast, you can tell your friends about it. Uh, you can rate it on iTunes, or you can follow us on Twitter at Fallout S O T N. Again, that's at Fallout S O T N. That stands for Survivors of the North. I know it's really clever. I came up with it myself. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a Patreon yet or anything, but in the future we may set something like that up if people ask for it and they want, you know, bonus content. You know, whether that be cut scenes or whatever. Uh, but for now, we don't. 
If you want to ask questions about the podcast or even, you know, just say hi, you can give us a call on Twitter, which will be the most likely place for us to see it. Uh, I, I mean, I check Twitter basically every day, and I'm the one behind that Twitter page. So, you know, I'm, a, I'm social media savvy, as they say. Also, if you do tweet about the podcast, remember to mention us, using, you know, at Fallout SOTN. Uh, and we just might use your Twitter handle or, you know, your name or whatever as a character's name or perhaps a location name. I don't know. We might incorporate your something to do with your Twitter into the podcast, which I know other actual play podcasts do it. The Adventure Zone does it. Uh, Advanced, Ad, Advanced Sagebrush and Shootouts does it, which I think is pretty underrated. Uh, but, you know, if you know they do it, we should do it. Uh, you know, it could be pretty cool. That is about all that I've got to say, uh, but please be sure to tune in for episode three, which will be next week, two weeks from now. Again, I don't know. Uh, I've already recorded that some... Nope! I've already recorded some of that with Jimmy, uh, and that's going to be pretty crazy. Didn't go as I had planned, and it's going to have a huge impact on the campaign, and I think it's going to be really cool. I will see you then.